Christina here, your head of community and learning for MonkeyPod. Today, I wanna to go over custom attributes in your MonkeyPod. Custom attributes are great when there's extra pieces of information that you wanna keep track of that don't come out of the box with MonkeyPod. So for instance, let's go take a look at one of our donors. So here we have relationships, and then we can click on list entities. Let's take a look at Charles Dodgson. So Car Charles Dodgson, we want to keep track of extra information that maybe doesn't come out of the box with our relationship records. Let's say in this case, we want to add contact preferences and donor preferences. So if we go to relationships and then click on custom attributes, this is where we have the opportunity to do that. There are two things you need to keep track of when you are defining your custom attributes. First are your attribute definitions. This here is a list of all of the custom attributes that are already in the system. You can essentially think of it when you add a custom attribute as that you are adding the field to the database. Next is your role-based attribute set. This is what adds a set of custom attributes to your relationship records based on role. So for instance, we can see here that we already have an attribute defined for contact preferences. But the reason it's not showing up on our relationship records is because we don't have it in a role-based attribute set. So let's go ahead and create a role-based attribute set. We can call this donor preference, or let's say instead donor information. We want this to show up for donors. And right now we want contact preferences. Let's go ahead and click the check mark. So now we've added contact preferences but we also want to add a custom attribute for donor preferences. So let's go ahead and click add a custom attribute and let's say donor preferences. This is the name of the attribute. This here is the data type. So we can see here it can be text, which is a single text field, integer, which is a number, true false, which gives you yes or no, text multiple, which gives you form fields that allow for multiple things to be selected, an image and a file upload. So let's go ahead and make this text multiple because we want to be able to define multiple things for each donor. So this here will be our list. Let's say we want to keep track of you know community uh, donor preferences, community based programs, children focused programs, and you know maybe events. So these are the universe of possibilities for our donor preferences. Sensitive is a visibility preference that you can attach in a user's um, preferences. So this would limit visibility. So if I mark this as sensitive, only those users that have the ability to view sensitive information as a permission will be able to see this. So now let's go ahead and click our check mark. So now we have donor preferences. We want to add that to this custom attribute set. So let's go ahead, edit the set, and add donor preferences. And let's go ahead and click our green check mark. If I want donor preferences to show up first, I can easily drag and drop it. Now let's go check out our custom attribute. So let's go to relationships, list entities, and check out Charles Dodgson again. So he's a donor, which means that he will now have our donor information custom attribute set with the attributes donor preferences and contact preferences. Now, I do wanna point out in the end of our video here, these custom attributes that are showing up in green. These are called dynamic custom attributes and will be covered in another video. If you have any questions on anything, custom attributes or otherwise, Go ahead and use our beacon and search custom attribute. You can also ask support at monkeypod.io and let us know if you need anything. Thanks.